Doesn't look right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics, um, at least as I look at him. Here's lights out. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And here is Rope. No good off the back of the rim. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Lakers on top, just dominating this one. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Welcome back. Ready to start the fourth quarter. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Alex Len. Griffin comes in for Boozer. J.J. Reddick's checked in for Anthony Morrow. And it's Tony Roten in for Rodgers. The Lakers also changing it up. Bogut comes in for Cole Aldrich. And Lights Out subbed in for Gary Neal. So for the Lakers right now, Lights Out in a two-guard. Ilyasova out there with Bogut. Then it's Russell. And it's Holiday in at the small four. And he gets it to go. Six points for Blake Griffin. And he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low. Really difficult for them to defend. Russell passes to lights out. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. 55 points for Freak. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. There's a minute 34 left to play here in the fourth. Count the bucket. Yeah, the drive to the bucket was great, but the finger roll was even better. Paul kicks to Roten. He feeds it to Jordan. Dishes it to Paul. Jordan the screen. Five to shoot. The drive by Paul. It's tipped and stolen by Ilya Sova. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Lakers. But, Steve, you know, you don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out, uh, uh, Clark, this, this kind of punishment. To well, you know what? I thought they did a nice job of playing against the game. Uh, they kept the pressure on and clearly were dominant in every area. And for the year now, they'll ramp up their win total to an even 40. And on the season, this is going to be their third win in four games against this team. And you could see, Greg, how badly they wanted this win. For two very familiar opponents, a win in the season series really carries an awful lot of extra weight. And you have to look back at this and see the huge game it was for a lights out. He affected the game so much with the way he was able to come out and get steals and extra possessions for his team. Shooting for Los Angeles, Tony Roten. Taking two shots. And he makes the first. And Roten drops them both. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's lights out, guarded by Rodgers. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Clock at four. To the inside. A shot's good from Aldrich. Just look at how quickly the lead has grown here over the last few possessions. Clear case here, partner, of saving their best for last. Quite a run. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight.
And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, Ernie Johnson, along with Shaq and Kenny the Jet. Let's quickly move forward now to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Freak. It was lights out shooting at its best from him in this game. 60 plus points is rarefied territory that few players ever see in the NBA. But we saw it here tonight. Truly jaw-dropping. What would you notice about his performance, Kenny? I know Freak's going to have a lot of people back home in Harlem extremely proud of the way he played tonight. And they should be proud of him because his play was genius. Just a textbook example of how to gain a mental edge and continue to exploit it. I thought this performance he needed to deliver, Ernie. He needed this game. You look at how he's been playing recently, and this was huge for him to come out and have a great night. You can really tell a lot about a player, how they break out of a slump. He responded exactly the way he needed to. And folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night.